If we select basic to opacity, go to the mask brush, activate the brush tip, the brush tool changes. So if I make a brush tool like this, you can see that now it's different. We want to create a textural effect. Use crackles, increase the size, activate the rotation, fuse it off, remove the pressure, and you can see how I have a very textured brush stroke. Isn't it cool? Wow, this was really fast. Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. I'm going to tell you about the masked brush feature. I could go very technical with this subject, but I prefer to show you real examples to understand better how to use in your own brushes. So if you prefer step by step, then this is your video. To use the masked brush, we need to go to the brush editor and look for the pixel engine icon here because the masked brush effect is available in the pixel engine. If we select a brush like this, like it's using the color smudge engine, it doesn't appear in the option. Imagine I have something like this, it's a normal brush look, and I go to the brush editor and activate the mask brush and go to predefine and look for this. If I make another brush look, I get this. And if I increase the brush size, you can see how the secondary brush tape is growing too. If I reduce the brush size, you can see how this is reducing the secondary brush tape. So how can I get the same brush size in the secondary brush tape? Well, I need to go here to the brush tape and then I increase the size. And now I get the same size for the secondary brush tape, but keeping the main size. It's a bit tricky, but sometimes it's very useful. In Krita by default, you can find these brushes with masked brush feature enabled. Let me give you the knowledge to understand a couple of them. Let's go. As you can see, this brush in the brush editor has a brush, brush tip right here is the main brush tip. It is like this. So I'm going to disable for a moment and you can see how the brush stroke, it has a bit of texture produced by the brush tip these rounded things here that are created by the brush tip. So if I go to the brush tip, you can see I'm using a splotched theme. So if I create something like this, you can see the, the splots inside the brush stroke, okay? So if I make a brush stroke, you can see that the splotchy thing, these splots are inside the brush stroke. There are no content outside. Even if I increase the size, you can see how only contain inside the brush stroke. And if I reduce the brush size, I get this, okay? So you can see a relation between the main brush tip size and the masked brush tip size. So if I make a brush stroke like this, you can see there is a clear repetition. And it's not a problem if I make a brush stroke like this, you can see there is no repetition because I'm using like a zigzag or rounded movement. But if I create this kind of movement, you can see the repetition. So to avoid that, I'm going to the masked brush and the brush tip, look for rotation and activate the fusy dab to add a randomized effect. And now you can see if I make a brush stroke like this, it's a more organic effect. But how can we use this in a real example? If I go here and activate this, you can see work in progress wall. I want to add some texture. So if I make a brush stroke like this, you can see how can I apply crunchy effect. And if I reduce the pressure, I can cut some area. Are you liking this video? Please let me know in the comments. Let's continue. And now let me show you an interesting trick with another blending mode, because if you select the charcoal pencil large, you can see it's a beautiful brush that can create this interesting effect. It's overriding the opacity, because if we disable the brush tip here, the masked brush, you can see that in the maximum pressure, I can get this opacity here. If I activate it again, you can see that it's using the linear touch. And this is the blending mode that allows you to override the opacity of the area you have selected. Now you can see in the opacity, this is inactive, 
during this part of the brushstroke, but suddenly grows up at this level. So if we want a more linear behavior, we can just create something like this. And you can see how this affects the opacity. I hope you like it. And now let's explore the subtract mode, because this is the basic of watercolor in Krita. If we use this brush, the water paint hard edges, you can see it's producing this type of effect as I'm applying more and more pressure. And how this is achieved? If I go to the brush editor, you have the answer. We are allowing this brush to have the 47% opacity. But if I go and increase this value, you can see how we are losing opacity. Because as we are subtracting, then the behavior is reversed. If I remove opacity, I get in more opaque areas here because it's doing the reverse thing. Now, for example, if I make a brush stroke, I will have something like this. It's not so transparent, but if I go here and go to my opacity, then I can modify to get more transparent behavior. And now you understand better the subtract blending mode. So let's go with one of my favorite watercolor brushes. Let's see if we can create a watercolor brush in less than five minutes. So if we go to the brush editor, I select the basic two opacity. It's a very digital brush, as you can see here. Now I go to predefined to get more interesting texture. I think around 300, it will be okay. And I'm going to use this spacing this in auto point 80 to create these gaps in the stroke. Then I go to the opacity. I have my own custom curve, but normally you will have something like this, but we need to create something a bit weird, something like this. You will see why. The texture are going to increase and then decrease. And now the flow, I enable the flow and reduce with this curve to around four. Maybe I reduce this and create another point right here. In the size, I'm going to reduce this because I need to create a smaller grain. So I use this and I use Fusidaf with the normal and you can see something is happening now. And now I activate the mirror in the vertically just to give more random behavior. Now it's better. And I go to my rotation, I use the drawing angle. Why? Because sometimes the brush stroke creates uh, some lines during the brush stroke but you can deactivate it and see the result. We activate the airbrush and put this to 200. We need to scatter the content and we are going to scatter, not too much, 100%, more or less. And you can see that it creates very nice texture that we need to be used with the shape. And how we can create the shape? We go to the brush tip here in the mask brush and I select, this is one of my favorites, Put this into darken because you will see that the result is quite different than the multiply. Can you see the difference? Put this into darken and reduce this to around 17, more or less. This is okay because it's going to be the smaller part of the brush stroke. Controlling the size with the pressure, nothing special. I'm going to disable the opacity to get a full opaque stroke in some areas and the flow is going to be reduced in a very similar way you will see the result and i activate the rotation to control by fusi daf and create a more organic effect now we get something like this if you want to scatter the content a bit more you can scatter here but don't use this value because it's too much you need to go around something like minor scattering effect and you will see that you have watercolor behavior pretty similar to create your own watercolor brushes hey what about the rgba brushes also called impasto brushes masked brush feature is also available with rgba brush tips like this so you can use the impasto effect or the rgba behavior to create your masked brushes. As you can see, we have 
uh, if I make low pressure, it's continuous brush through, but as I am applying more pressure, this is getting more randomized. So you can see two things. One is the content and one is the shape that contains the content. As you can see, we have triangles, triangles rotated, and you can see that real fast here. If you go to the secondary brush tip, we are using this, but we can experiment and we can select another shapes to play with this thing. And I make now a different shape with the same content. Let's make an example. If we want to create better vegetation with impasto effect, it's really easy because I go here, go to the brush tip and select something that is uh, like particle effect. Could be something like this or something like this. And you can see the difference. Now we have sparkle effect, not too much saturation. But you can see the content is already there so you can play with different values different colors more saturation and create very pointyism impressionistic and mix with all the brushes to create for example a tree all these kind of effects and maybe you are asking yourself it is possible to reverse the behavior of main brush tip and secondary brush tip check it out okay now let me show you a really interesting thing. I have these two brushes, they are basically the same. So I'm going to make a couple of brush strokes. So you can see these and these are pretty similar. But have you noticed the difference? The difference is in the brush preview itself because here I have a squared shape and here I have a flat shape. And how is this possible? Because as you can see, I can create the same masked brush effect. So why Raymond is doing this? Well, the answer is because I'm reversing the brushes to create the masked brush effect. Here in the first one, I have these as the main brush tip and then this flat shape to cut the edges. Okay, so I have this result. But in the second one, I have this as a main brush tip, the flat shape as a brush tip, and then I use the secondary brush tip to create the grain. So I'm cutting the edges of this one. This is only an example to show you that you don't have to constrain your mind and believe that this is always the main brush tip, that we are always controlling the brush stroke shape with the main brush tip because we can use the reverse way and we have the pretty similar effect why i'm showing you this if i use this method i can use the sharpness option to create a more crispy effect it's like micro detail in whatever brush stroke i apply so i can create my structure structure thing and you can see that I create a very interesting texture. If I use the another brush, you can see that in the masked brush, I can use nowadays <laughs> when I'm making this video, this sharpness option. So if I make a brush stroke, you can see how it's not so obvious the texture. If I create the same brush stroke, you can see the difference. If you want to test these brushes, they are available for free in the link in the description. You can do a lot of things with this brush because by default you have a brush stroke like this, but if I go here, I can activate the sharpness. And now I can create glazing, but with texture. Also, I can create this type of DAF style. You can see how we are creating in some parts texture effect and others not. We can use a tilted brush stroke like this. And also we can modify the brush really fast because if activate the rotation is using the drawing angle sensor with the off offset to 90 degrees to create these kind of effects. So I can create curves very easy. And there is even more because I can control the color 
if I activate the hue and I select another color or brighter to see better the effect, you can see how it's to be used also with color chromacity. Okay, so you can create really fast, really fast, a lot of textural effects. And the last one is if I have a glazing, but without releasing the brush stroke, I go inside the brush stroke, you can see how can I create a not cut effect in the primary brush tip. What happens if I have a brush that is using the build up mode and I want to convert to the masked brush feature? Is that possible? Let's see. If I use this brush, the chalk grainy, you can see how it's painting and you can get the full opacity. It's a beautiful brush for texturing effects. And I go here and as you can see in the painting mode is the wash mode. But if I activate the build up mode, you can see now I have a very different effect because I'm building up the opacity, okay? If I make here and stroke over and over, I get the full opacity and this doesn't happen with the wash mode. So now we control the intensity with the opacity. So now I need more time to arrive to the full opacity. But imagine I want to create a masked brush. I go here and then I select the brush tip and you can see how the stroke preview has changed and the behavior is different because the build up mode is disabled. Now we are using again the wash mode. And now imagine I want to create a masked brush from this brush, okay? So I go to the brush editor, go to the brush tip and click on the brush tip to activate it. I am selecting this, but I can select this for more uh, textural effect or this one, whatever you want and give it more spacing. Now you can see this is not in build up mode anymore because if I go here, it's not using the build up mode. Masked brushes use always the wash mode, but we can use a trick because if we go to here and now disable the enable pen settings, pull to the opacity to control the maximum output of the brush stroke and the flow controlled by a simple curve and go here to the opacity and remove the opacity to see how this change and the flow, also the flow. And you can see the behavior is same as the previous one is a build up mode, but we are using a mask brush effect. So I hope you like it because that will give you a lot of power to control your brushes. As you have seen, we can create a lot of different effects with the mask brush feature. And remember, Krita really values your support because we are building Krita together. So if you can donate to the foundation, it's very good for development. And also, if you share this video on social media, it's really good to promote the software. And don't forget, you have the Krita Artist Forum where you can find a lot of different artists that can help you to solve your doubts. And that's all for now. I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye.